Hey guys, welcome back to RC Customs. Um, so today we will be working on the Mustang engine. So I got the AC delete pulley right there. We're gonna be taking the cams out, uh, taking all the timing off and plugging these two holes in the back so she doesn't dump oil everywhere. And then we'll be trying to retap the crank. I will be dropping the pan so I could do brand new oil pump and maybe do some other things to clean her up. Um, I'm not gonna worry about the rear main seal right now. We're going to be dealing with the rear main seal uh, when it's on the lift. I'm gonna be repairing my lift right now because as you can tell, one tire, one wheel is completely fucked. Um, so we're gonna be trying to repair that. Then we're also going to be attempting to clean the bay on the Mustang. Um, attempting to clean it, spray it down, scrub it, get it nice and clean, get all that nasty, nasty oil and grease off, and then maybe touch it up with some red paint. Um, I don't really know yet, but uh, we're gonna be attempting to do that. Maybe take off that AC canister that I left on last uh, last time. And uh, yeah, we're gonna start putting this back together then and getting it ready to go back in the car. So today's gonna be a big episode, um, maybe, I don't know. Um, but then probably tomorrow, I have some things I gotta do today and where I need my car for sure. So I'm definitely going to wait until I uh, get the Mustang up and running before I attempt to do the coilovers on the golf because God forbid say I don't get it done in time before the sun sets. Um, I want to have a secondary car so we're going to wait to do the coilovers. Um, I think that's just a smarter decision because if I go and try and do coilovers and I can't get it finished in time, um, it's just going to be a nightmare because then I'm, never, I'm not going to have a car until I get back and I don't want to Uber from the garage to my house. So we are going to be working on the uh, engine right now. We're gonna start taking apart the cams, start taking apart the timing, lay everything out nice on the table, and uh, probably drop the pan um, so I can do the oil pump. So I'll see you guys in a bit, and yeah, thanks for watching.
Okay, new oil pump is on. Everything is tight. I'm gonna torque it all down. But basically what I had to do is I had to line up the way that the gear sits in here with this new one. Line it up like that, bolt it all in. Now we're gonna torque it down because I know these have a very specific torque spec. Um, and it's gotta sit really flush against here, real nice for it to be optimal. So we're going to be doing that and yeah, that should be it. Um, I do not believe these need to be adjusted. I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to double check and I'll get back to that. But yeah, so that should be it. So now we're going to move on to chasing this thread and uh, pulling the camshafts off so I can put the engine back in safe mode knowing that it is in safe mode and then we are going to put the cams back on and start retiming the engine so stay tuned for that all right guys so i ran out and i grabbed the right tap um so this is the moment of truth here where we can see if we can recover this if not it's gonna have to get taken out brought to the machine shop and drilled out probably Retapped and put a heel coil in or either that or buy a new crank. So here we go and Pray for me because uh, hopefully it works So I'll see you guys after I uh, either mangle this or do a good job. So peace All right guys fantastic news. I was able to properly tap this out Clean up the threads. I was able to clean up the threads on the underdrive pulley bolt So we are good to go to move forward on this build That is so exciting. I am so happy right now I, I'm over the moon because I did not think that was gonna work I thought that I was just gonna mangle it. and I was gonna have to order a new crank. So this is amazing. I <laughs> Awesome, so we're gonna start pulling off the cams um Putting, uh, put the front of it back on um, and start timing it. We're gonna put this into safe mode. So we're gonna put that on, put the, in, in, put the engine in the safe mode and we are going to start re-timing this engine. And that is awesome. I'm so excited, I'm so happy that worked out. So stay tuned and we will see more. All right, so camshafts are out. Gonna wipe them down and make sure they're super clean. But right now, with all the valves up, we're going to put the engine in safe mode and then reinstall the camshafts, tighten down the cam caps, uh, torque them down to the proper spec, and start timing the engine. So um, it's a pretty intense process. So um, I'll get back to you guys. And my battery for my GoPro is almost dead anyway, so I'm gonna charge it up. But I'll get back to you guys when I'm done timing the engine. Um, then putting the oil pan on. I just put some primer on the bottom of it because it was a little rusty on the bottom. So it doesn't rust anymore. Just get it more damage on it. Um, so we're going to be taking care of that. And then I'll be reinstalling the cams, put the engine in safe mode, and timing it. I said that like four times. Uh -huh. <laughs> But yeah, so I'll grab you guys right after I finish doing that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. All right, guys, we are back. The motor is tensioned up. It is timed. Um, it was rotated. Um, threads in here are good now. Um, now we will be putting on the oil pan gasket, the new oil pan gasket with the old oil pan that's all cleaned up, completely cleaned. Um, these are all torqued down to 100 inch pounds. It calls for 70 to 100 inch pound, uh, 110 inch pounds for the torque spec on these. So those are torqued down in sequence. So everything is good to go. Um, it may not look like it's in time right now because it was rotated. Uh, so when you time this motor, you rotate it uh, four times, I believe and it, it just won't line up anymore. But um, 
Yeah, so we made a lot of progress today on this. So we'll be putting on the oil pan to seal up the bottom end. And when the bottom end sealed up, we will be rolling this back into the garage and then we can start assembling the front end of it. Um, also, we got the whole underdrive pulley assembly. Oh, uh-oh. Sounds a little squeaky. Might be time for a new alternator. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll, I'll go get a new alternator. Fuck it, why not? We're here, right? So, <clears throat> so new alternator then, and then everything will start being assembled, the whole front end. I'm um, gonna get a rear main seal. We're gonna put it on the hoist, do the pilot bearing, rear main seal, and brand new oil filter while it's here. Um, I got two I'm um, gonna tighten up on. Actually, that's pretty good right there. Um, and then, yeah, then we're gonna be start putting it back in the car. So before I do that though, I'm going to have a nice cleaning day tomorrow on the engine bay of the car, take the bumper off, prime the bumper, and maybe do some little bit of body work to it. But besides that, we are rocking. So I'll go, I'll uh, be back right after we put this oil pan gasket on. Me. One last thing before we go, I'm going to be doing the AC delete pulley. So we're going to be bolting it up real quick. It's just three bolts. And then I think that's it for the day. This new gasket looks so good. I'm so happy that I got a new one because the old one, I was nervous it was gonna leak, but I'm really happy with everything, the way everything turned out, the new oil pump, the way the timing is. New, how everything is torqued down. I know these plugs are back here, so it won't lose timing. How it <laughs> dump oil everywhere. So, we're making a lot of progress. So, thanks for watching, guys, and stay tuned. I'm going to be doing the uh, AC delete.
All right, guys. AC dually pulley is on. Spins good. We're going to get a new alternator for sure. This thing is squeaking like crazy. And it sounds like the bearing squeaking a little. So probably a new alternator while it's out. Um, just double checking everything, but I think that's gonna be it for the day. Thanks for watching and stay tuned because we got finishing this up, putting it back in the car, cleaning the bay, and some other things going on with the Mustang. So stay tuned because after the Mustang's done, we're gonna be working on the Golf. We got some headlights coming from V-Land. We got some coilovers. Um, we'll probably do some caster camber plates on it and maybe some body parts like uh, the hood or whatnot. And then we also got full suspension on the Mustang as well. We're gonna do shocks, uh, sway bar end links, everything. So stay tuned. We got some exciting stuff going on and thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe and stay tuned. Thanks guys, peace.